All right, today we're going to be taking a look. Uh, last time we looked at magnitude and direction for vectors. Today we're going to be looking at um, adding, subtracting, and scaling vectors. And a very key term that we're going to be looking at today is going to be a scalar, scalar value. Now, you might remember this from geometry all the way back two years ago. We looked at uh, dilations and we talked about scaling. We talked about scaling scale models, whether it be like a model car or... Um, those of you that maybe build models of various things, again, maybe maybe a car, maybe airplanes, maybe, I don't know, Gundams or whatever it is that you have a model of, um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a scale model, meaning that it's some, some multiple in terms of size of the, or the original thing, right? Usually it's, it's smaller, you usually don't go bigger, right? But you might have a model house, you have a model uh, whatever in order to you know, better study it, to manipulate it, to whatever. But a scalar value is something that is a number, right? So like 4, negative 3.5, 26, whatever it is, and it doesn't have any direction or magnitude, but it can be negative. Now, if you remember back in geometry, maybe you remember doing uh, dilations where you essentially take whatever um, line segment or line that you may have, <clears throat> and then you you know, multiply it size by two or three times or negative, it will go in the other direction, so on and so forth. That's what a scalar number is and oftentimes we do denote a scalar or well, nothing special for scalar but a vector we do to write it in bold so that we do know it's a vector so in this case if a scalar is this value k whatever k may be while the vector is the vector b here we have a scalar value of 4.2 and and our vector is vector c whatever that is i believe this is a mistake i don't believe that's supposed to be part of it the scalar should just be six the vector is three Five. Now, this is our components, not necessarily a specific vector. Now, if I wanted to multiply a vector by some scalar, right, that means I'm scaling the vector, um, meaning I'm going to change the magnitude of the vector, right? So kind of the same thing, right? You take a uh, one eighth model, one sixty fourth model. You're essentially saying I'm going to take just, I'm going to multiply the size of a car by one eighth. So you scale it down to a smaller size. Maybe you scale up, maybe you have a, uh, a lot of times we go to museums and we see, okay, this is, you know, a, you know, 200 times magnification of a, I don't know, mitochondria or, you know, a cell or whatever, right? That's scaling up. So really we're just taking a multiple of whatever that is. So if I want to multiply the vector one V, which is one four, uh, all I got to do two V is the same thing as if I multiply each piece, my X and Y, by my scalar value. So in this case, 2, 8. And just kind of illustrate what that is going to mean, right? 1, 4. This is my vector, V. Right? This is V. And if I take a look at this other vector, 2, 8, this is 2, V. And then you see something very interesting. It's just twice the size of V. Surprise, surprise. All right, and now get multiply again. It's kind of like distributing, but I don't I don't really want to call it distributing because distributing you then add or subtract, right? If, if there's it's all scalar, really. There's no direction for anything. In this case, vectors do have a an x and a y component. They're they're not really it's not really distributing, but the, each term does get a multiplication, right? So this is eighteen. I don't know why I keep forgetting this. Negative thirty. Okay, and that's it. Um. Addition of vectors is also pretty simple. There's a couple ways to kind of look at it. But really, essentially, when you are adding two vectors, uh, if V has A1, B1, U has A2, B2, you would simply add whatever components together. together. So X1 plus X2, Y1 plus Y2. In this case, you'll take a look. I am going to add my 3 plus 12. That's 15. 4 plus 5. That's 9. And that's it. Now, there's a couple ways to kind of think about the addition of vectors. The first way is kind of think about it in terms of like you're placing one vector, the tail end of one vector to the head of the first vector, right? Or you're kind of just putting it, putting it back to back. So you're literally like putting them, so it's like adding it together quite literally, right? So this is called head to tail. Um, I'm going to write this out as head to tail in, in um, oops, head to tail. Now, in I think this packet, we actually call it the triangle method, which is, I mean, the same deal, not a big deal. Um, regardless, uh, basically, you say, okay, I'm going to draw my first vector. I go right 3, up 4. My second vector, I go right 12, up 5. So my, my resultant 
is this guy over here. Not a very good drawing. But it is the gray line that we see on the other one. It's equivalent to say, let me first add up the x side, the x component. So 3 plus 12. And I add the y's, which is 4 plus 5. You'll see that this is identical. So even though I, this is not drawn for some reason, okay, that is the wrong arrow type. These two are, in fact, the same. And to show that is the case, and I mean, this should be quite obvious that it is the case, but I'll do it regardless, right? Gray and the, the red line are, are the same, okay? Uh, but in practicality, normally an algebraic is usually easier. Um, but anyway, V plus U is just going to give me 3 plus 4, comma, negative 8, plus 6. Again, the X's plus the X's, the Y's plus the Y's. Now, when I have a subtraction, you can still do, you know, X minus X, Y minus Y. Personally, though, um, I like to think of it more as adding a negative, even just for regular adding and subtraction, uh, regular subtraction problems, I like to think of it as negative, um, just because I, in my mind, it's, it, I don't know, I, I think it's easier. Um, but, you know, whatever floats your boat. But in this case, uh, for me, I would look at this as negative 4 plus a negative 3, 1 plus 2, right? So actually, you know what? Let me write this out. Uh, actually, yeah, uh, that doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, I already have plus minus. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll just go ahead and continue writing what I had. So sorry for wasting your time there. So in this case, oh, whoa, 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 where are the components here? I got negative 7 and positive 3. Now, I will show you, right, obviously, this it should be the same. There's no reason why it should be any different. I have negative 4, and if I subtract 3, so x, subtract the x component, y minus the y component, this is still negative 7, positive Right, so they are the same. Again, I personally just like to do it in terms of a negative. If I have a scalar value, a scalar multiple, of course, I need to first multiply, right? In the same way, I when I do PEMDAS, I multiply before I'm adding. So 2v is equal to 4, negative 6, 2, uh, I'm sorry, 4u is equal to negative 4, 16. So when I add them together, this is 4 plus negative 4, comma, negative 6 plus 16. So this is equal to 0, 10. Last but not least, uh, again, for me personally, I like to think of this as adding a negative. So negative 3u is equal to negative 12 and positive 6. So here, what I'm going to do is 5 plus a negative 12, comma, 9 plus 6. So this is going to equal to negative 7 and 17. And if you want to do the other way, that's that's fine. If you would like to do that, uh, I'll leave that up to you. Okay, last thing we're going to do today. I know it's a very short video. It's very, very straightforward. Um, we're going to, draw, we're going to um, add vectors first graphically, and we're also going to compare that algebraically as well. And, and we should expect them to be the exact same thing, right? So, but let's go ahead and do this. We have A, which is 5, 2. So I got 5, 2. And so my first, I'm gonna just going to draw this hopefully nice and straight here. This is going to be my A. And then my B is, so I'm going to do uh, head to tail, right? So I ended here. So this is kind of like my new starting point. From here, B Negative 3 first means going to the left 3. 1, 2, 3, up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is kind of my new origin. Draw my vector that way. So my resultant, resulting vector is like so. Okay. So again, this is going to be my B, and this is my A plus B. And we know the value of this guy because we can just look at the uh, where our position is. We our components are are up uh, to the right two, so two in the positive x direction, and then up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, eight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double check. Right? Let's take a look. 
a plus b, that means 5 plus negative 3, comma, 2 plus 6. This does, in fact, give me 2, comma, 8, which is the same that I got here, right? So hopefully that does make plenty of sense here. Okay, let's go on to the next one. b plus c this time, negative 3 it means left 3, up 6. So I am over here. Yes, I'm here. So my b vector is right here. And then from here, I'm going to go to, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to go uh, vector c. So this is my new origin point. Negative 8 means going to the left 8. So I'm going to go actually all the way off the charts a little bit, down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so this is my, and my arrow is there. You can see it on the screen, but, you know, the dots are just slightly too big. It covers it up a little bit, so I do apologize about that. Uh, but this is my C vector. Again, it, you should see arrows like so. And finally, the resulting vector, of course, B plus C is Okay, that is just slightly off. I'm going to redraw it. Okay, cool. Right, so my resulting vector over here, this is B plus C. Again, this is going to be negative 11, because I know this is 10, so 11 up 2. So negative 11, 2. Let's go to the addition and see if we're right or not. We got negative 3 plus a negative 8. So that's looking good. 6 plus a negative 4, that's also looking pretty good. So I get negative 11, positive 2. Nice. And finally, now this, this one, there's a couple ways to kind of go about this, right? 2a, you can think about this a couple ways, right? You can first do it algebraically, right? Because I know what 2a is. 2a, a is 5, 2. 2a then, that must be 10, 4. Right, so I can first say, okay, 10, 4, all right, 10, up 4, this is, this is the 10, 4 right here, so this right here is 2a, and then I can go b afterwards, so b I know is negative 3, 6, so 1, 2, 3, up 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so I have my vector this way. So my resulting vector is this guy, all right? And then I can label all my points, or all my vectors here. This is B, this is 2A, and this is 2A plus B. Now I'm going to show you something else as well. And uh, I'm going to use, uh, let's use red. Because what I can do is actually, if you think about it, right, 2A is the same thing as a plus a. So I could say, well, let me do 5, 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, positive 2. So that's a right here. And then from here, another, right, head to tail, another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 2. Right? So either way, it works perfectly fine. I will get to the same Location, you see the orange is completely covered up by that red now. And so we do show that these two are a, are the same. So A and 2A, it, it, whether I multiply it by a scale factor of 2, or I think about it as two A's back to back, both are okay. Once again, I'm going to take a look here. I got I go up uh, right 7, so that's 7 positive, I'm sorry, 7 comma positive 10. Let's hope our math does check out. 2A, once again, this is 10, 4. We did this calculation earlier plus b, which is negative 3, 6. That's, of course, equal to 7, 10. Would you look at that? We've got the same thing. Okay. So I think adding and scaling vectors is pretty straightforward. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching this video.